Today I'm going to be talking about another way that you can boost the dynamic range in your Canon DSLR. Woo! For many of you that are starting out in film or you just got your first Canon DSLR and you really want to go out there and start making movies, you want to start making content, whether it's for YouTube, short films, TV, what have you, you often come across this problem of my footage just doesn't have that professional look. And there's a lot of things that you can do to really push that professional look, but some of them are just unobtainable and it's the reason we have to pay $10,000, $15,000, $100,000 for Reds and Sonys and all these other higher level cameras. But there are a few tricks that you can use to get that more professional look in your Canon DSLR and with enough tweaking and post-production you can even achieve a semi-comparable look. Now before I start talking too much about uh, Technicolor Cine style color profile, I would like to talk a little bit about HDR and contrast ratios and things of that nature. Basically HDR or high dynamic range is the ability of your camera to have a wide scope of detail in both the lights and the darks on one end versus the other. Often in lower end cameras such as Canon DSLRs, when you look at something that's darker in shadow, you lose a lot of detail and the same thing happens with things that are in a lot of bright light. This is one of the advantages that those 10,000 and up dollar cameras have over the smaller prosumer level DSLRs. And while you can't actually do anything to really replace the effect and the professionalism of those cameras, there are a few things that you can do to push that. And one of those is the cine style color profile, which will take the dynamic range within your Canon DSLR and expand that by lowering the contrast. And just a quick note for those of you that don't understand contrast, contrast is how lights your lights are compared to how darks your darks are. Now, what you'll see here in this example is a standard neutral Canon 70D color profile. What you're seeing in this image is something that is just the way that your camera comes. There's no settings that have been adjusted. Everything is just shooting the way that Canon would normally shoot. I am shooting with the Canon 70D with an 18 to 135 variable STM lens. It has an f-stop of 3.5 to 5.0 depending on the level of zoom. Now in this image, I'm using the Canon CineStyle color profile to show you the difference in how much detail you're getting in your shadows and your lights. Neither of these images have been treated for color in post. Now if I apply some color correction and a little bit of color grading, you'll see the effect is that I can still retain a lot of that detail in the highs and lows. So let's say that you're in an incredibly dark room. By using this color profile, you can reduce the amount of noise that you're going to get in post whenever you pump the gain. And the same thing is true for if you're in a room that's just too bright and you want to bring those details down some without overblowing your image. And while this is no replacement for a camera that has higher dynamic range built in to the main sensor of the camera or the main settings of the camera, this is a really, really good and frugal way to achieve a more cinematic or more professional look without spending any extra money. Now, in order to install and use this color profile, you're going to have to go to www.technicolor.com and search for the CineStyle plugin for Canon DSLR cameras, or you can follow the link in the description, because that would probably be a lot easier, or you can type this link here. One other thing is you're going to want to make sure that you have the Canon EOS utility installed on your computer, and you're going to want the most up-to-date version, just because it's going to work a lot better, and it will work with any of the updates that Technicolor or Canon has put out for their cameras. And once you follow the link to that page, you're going to go ahead and scroll down. You're going to look over here to the left. You're going to click on Download. That's going to pull up a file download request. You just fill this information out. You may, you know, you subscribe to their newsletter because they'll send you some awesome stuff in the future. You know, type in the code, hit submit, and you should get a download link following that. Then simply go into the Canon EOS utility. You're going to pull up a menu that allows you to select a color profile, install it, and when you go to your camera's main menu settings, go to color profile. It should say standard. You're going to change that to user defined one, two, or three, depending on what you selected in the Canon EOS utility. So once you've done that, make sure to shoot using that. Make sure to adjust exposure accordingly. It does tend to boost the highlights a little bit. So you'll want to actually underexpose by just a smidge in order to retain a lot of detail and really get a high quality image without over exposing. Once you pull it into After Effects, Premiere, DaVinci, whatever editing program you choose to use, Final Cut, Avid, you will have a lot more flexibility and you'll be able to get a lot more professional look from your footage using your Canon DSLR. Thank you guys so 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 much for watching. I really really appreciate it. If you could, make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Let me know how I can improve the show. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Let me know what I didn't go into enough detail about. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next time. Shut up.